Hey you, watching this video, spread love. Bienvenidos and welcome back, familia, to the channel that spreads love. I'm Leonardo Torres and this is Mustachio. And we are beginning a fresh segment here on our, on our channel. I'm excited because I wanted to do this for a really long time and now the time has come. Welcome to the Tower of Torres podcast. We're going to interview musicians, pastors, poets, performers, artists of all types on this channel. We're going to keep the material clean and full of positivity. On the first episode, we talked to singer songwriter and the winner of the next big thing award, my now best friend, Collington. Sit back and enjoy. All right, bienvenidos and welcome back, familia, to another awesome reaction video. Actually, this is not a reaction video. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the real deal. We're here with Collington, who, by the way, congratulations on your the, yeah. the next big thing award. That's it, man. I love it. It's uh, The joke's been it's my new car hood ornament. I glued it up <laughs> my car. So everybody knows now. <laughs> yeah, I saw that you wanted to sell it on eBay, and did that not work out well? <laughs> you know, uh, the highest bidder will determine that. <laughs> <laughs> that's excellent, man. Uh, well, congratulations on that. On that, that that's a big step for you. Or thank you, you. Thank or you. Or do you not consider it a big step? How do you feel about uh, that? Oh, it's huge, man. Like uh, new release today, it's like everybody wants to work with them. So to get the time of day from them to begin with, uh, like for even them to write about what I'm doing, never mind, nominate me and then win. Um, <laughs> what is that, man? I'm, I'm pinching myself still. It's like, what, what is this life I get to live? That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Well, congratulations again. I can't congratulate you enough. You see, you look, you looked really excited. You just walked out there like, here, put this on eBay. <laughs> yeah. well, I knew prior, so I had to act super yeah. excited. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to say that, but hey, it's <laughs> well now. we don't have to edit that out. Um, but yeah, it was super cool, man. It's this surreal moment, you know, like this Grammy nominated artist, Red Walker is there. He's handing me my trophy, um, which is just wild. And it's like, we get to play a song after. And I started in the wrong key. So, you know, it's uh, kept me humble, kept me humble. <laughs> I saw it. I was going to ask you about that, actually. I was like, you had a little hiccup there at the beginning. I saw you look at your guitar and then I saw you reach for the capo and slide it over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just kind of, you counted wrong, huh? Yeah. It's, it's one of those things. There's a reason they tell you, like, on the when you're on an airplane, like, you got to put the face mask over your kid. Uh, before yeah. you do, or do it to yourself before you do it to your kid and sometimes that's kind of what happened I was taking care of everybody else and forgot to take uh, care of myself so there you go. Yeah. See, that happens that happens yeah. <laughs> if you're not a musician you probably didn't notice you're probably just, <laughs> what is this dissonance going on yeah is that supposed awesome. to be there <laughs> cool it's like a cacophony it started off pretty <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it had a little weird vibe to it but I like it um, yeah, no, that's great. So um, I just want to know a little bit more of, about you because obviously we've covered some of your songs on on the channel, and I like the sound. Okay, you thanks, man. Really, really nice, clean sound. Um, the first song that we listened to was "Against the Wall." But before I get to asking you questions about that song, I just want to know a little bit more about your background. Where you're from? How do you, how did you get started with music? Is it you know how, how did it all begin? You. yeah so i'm from originally from a town called or a city called east providence rhode island and um there's people that are listening right now and they're like what is a rhode island it's a state it's a state it's, it's one of the original 13 colonies it's on a map um it's not part of new york it's a state uh, we have our own legislature and um so that's where i'm from originally and um so i'm from new england land of dunkin donuts and um you know, we don't have in and out. Uh, we just got Chick-fil-A within like the last five years. So really, the Lord's been faithful. <laughs> and <laughs> But yeah, man, so I just kind of, uh, I always had instruments around. Like I come from kind of a musical family, um, kind of like secondhand. So like my uncles and stuff had like these instruments that my brother and I inherited. Um, They're actually all my brother's instruments. And then he never really did much with them. And so I just kind of picked him up like his drum set and then, uh, his guitar and I learned smells like teen spirit and the rest is history, man. You know, <laughs> man, I think that's like the go-to uh, for a lot of musicians. Uh, I don't know how young you are, but, but yeah, <laughs> in my time too, that's how actually how I, I got my, I tricked my grandfather into teaching me how to play guitar. Cause I was just playing smells like teen spirit. And he finally was like, shut up with that noise. Come here. I'm going to show you how to play. And then he taught me <laughs> the, my chords. So. That's amazing. Yeah, great beginning. So you know how to play drums and guitar? Yeah, yeah. So drums were kind of um, my main instrument for a long time. Cool. And then um, long story short, is one thing led to another. And I, ju I just started singing. And that scared the, 
the bejeebers out of me because like dude like it, it's weird because um I, I've, I've just got a voice and it doesn't sound like anybody else you know what i mean right. so i didn't i didn't have the benefit of being like i can sound like this guy and then kind of yeah. like backdraft off what they were doing like, yeah. just like pure trailblazing and so I, I had to learn how to sing and that was really difficult um so there is a whole set of songs that no one will ever ever hear <laughs> but if you go in my mom's car and open the center console they're all right there yeah. <laughs> she's proud of them probably yeah? she is man she is but one day nicholas cage will come in and take them like the declaration of <laughs> oh man my, my my daughter my oldest daughter loves those those national treasure movies too so she'll, she'll probably watch it <laughs> it's they're great movies man they're like they're like car accidents you know you just can't look away <laughs> I think that I feel like that's all of Nicolas Cage's uh, movies, right? Like, yeah, Gone in sixty seconds was good, and then after it's just like he he just didn't say no. <laughs> he just like, yeah, I'll do it. It's, yeah, yeah. Ghost Rider, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fun fact: he had a house in Rhode Island too. I think he took a bath on it, but yeah, he had a house in Rhode Island for a minute. Yeah, yeah, so like just, for literally a minute or <laughs> a long minute. Uh, a long... Yeah, a, a baker's minute. But yeah, just trying to make uh, Rhode Island relevant. That's, that's what I'm here for today. <laughs> All right, well, shout, shout out to Rhode Island. Getting some, yeah. <laughs> getting some kind of recognition. Not, not that this channel's huge yet, but, <laughs> but we'll get it there. We'll get it there. We'll, we'll blow it up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk to me a little bit about uh, Against the Wall. That, that song, it was the first song that I heard. You do, yeah. have, you do have a different voice. Honestly, if this, it's not like anything I've heard it. And and I, I, I can, what's the word I'm looking for? English is hard. I can relate. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I can relate on on trying to match somebody else's voice and then slowly pulling away and, and making it your own. But you definitely have like your own voice. And and when I first heard that song, I was like, this is a really unique uh, sound, at least to, for, for me, you know? So um, sure. what, what was, uh, how did that song come about? What is it about? Because <laughs> I know I had some, I had some questions. You sort of briefly answered them on, on, on the channel. Yeah. Yeah, so that was, song was um, kind of going into this last recording cycle. That was one I kind of dusted off last minute. So, um, and it's kind of changing as of recently, but historically the way I've demoed is I just kind of sit down and just bang out some songs. And then like, from like the time it takes to listen to the song is usually how quick it is. And then like, I'll just go down and write a few verses, write a few choruses, and then after I go back and kind of reassemble them. Yeah. And so that was one I just kind of banged out really quick and then didn't think much of it. And then um, I showed it to my, my sounding boards and they're like, dude, what is this song? This is stupid. <laughs> and so I was like, whatever, man. Like, and then, um, and my sounding boards, I mean, my, my lovely wife. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so the, the song really didn't uh, resonate with anybody. So I was like, whatever. And then um, kind of going into the album process, um, so we rented an Airbnb and just kind of brought all our own stuff to record there. And that's how we did that, which was um, probably a lot more difficult than it needed to be, uh, to be honest, <laughs> as romantic of an idea as that is. Uh, but it, like a few days before, maybe even like 24 hours before, I was talking to uh, our drummer, Nate. I was like, dude, I think this song needs to be on there. And he was like, okay, but if we're doing this, I'm only doing it if I can play drums like this. And that's how it kind of nice. came into the world. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. And so you have uh, Nate on drums? Nate on drums. And then what are your other, what are the other musicians? Yeah, so my friend Tommy's been playing guitar for me for years. Um, and um, so it's, the project's just me, but I've got just like my best friends out with me. Um, so cool. Tommy, who we used to like, our moms were best friends. And then so uh, we used to like play in the sandbox together and, you know, went our own ways and then music brought us back together. And then bass, uh, right now it's uh, our friend Abe is supposed to be playing for us, but all our shows got canceled. So it's mm. it's been filled, but it hasn't been uh, an exercised role. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's good. And and so, and as a band, you've been together for how long? Uh, I've been doing this about since 2010. Um, 2010. Okay. Yeah, did a rebrand in like 2015. And so the discography up to that point just got snipped and thrown in the mm. trash. So depends where you want to start the mile marker, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, that's that's totally up to you, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, can you tell me, tell us a little bit about your songwriting process? How do you how do you go about tackling a project like, say, Beyond Beyond It? Uh, Mountains was another song that I heard, and 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 Against the Wall. You talked a little bit about uh, verse choruses and then restructuring them. But if you were gonna write a song from scratch, how would you? How do you usually, you know, tackle that project? 
Yeah, it's it's a process and it's changed a lot as of recently, just in efforts to kind of um, change things, which I don't know if that'll even stick, but historically the James Collins way to sit down and write a song is um, step one, have a terrible day. <laughs> step two, pick up a guitar because you're just going to want to sing about it. And that's kind of the formula. And um, like I joke about it, but like for me, just the kind of personality I am like normally, like I, um, when I've got stuff going on, I, I usually, it, it normally takes a minute for it to bubble up before I even realize I feel the way I feel like um, subconsciously, I kind of push it down. And then um, it sometimes it takes like a hard day or something to kind of dislodge that and float to the top. And sometimes I'm writing songs, man. And I think I'm just ad libbing, like just filling space. And then I go back and I'm like, no, this is real. I actually feel this way, it's scary. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So it, it, is it like a self self fulfilling? Um, what do they call it? Self fulfilling okay. prophecy. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a hungry brain right now. I need some tacos. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's like self fulfilling ad libs. Oh, really? It's just like, dude, like I didn't. I thought I was just filling in the blank, and then this is it's like reality now. Then, then that's how you felt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's so it's cool. It, it, it's crazy, um, but it's it's. Um, and I, 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 I say this uh, metaphorically, like it's kind of like a therapy thing in a sense where it gets things out for me. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a substitute for proper therapy though, um, which a lot of people I think would agree with because yeah. I, think, I think it's good to talk to someone, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. And when you're deciding what instruments you're going to put into a song, how, how do you go about deciding that? Dude, there, there's no decision. It's like, I just think about pedal boards and guitars all day and they're going on there whether I like it or not. <laughs> Do you have a favorite effect pedal? Oh man, dude. So I'm like back to playing tube screamers again, which I don't know how well, you know, you, you probably know you've got guitars. Uh, a little ball. bit, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like this like $50 pedal. And, yeah. Um, it's just, it turns out it's on all my favorite records. And it's like, that's the song, the sound I've been chasing. So I'm using that again, but yeah. maybe I'll go back to something else soon. Um, but probably like if my Desert Island pedals, I would take, geez, probably my Klon, my Strymon El Capistan and my Strymon uh, Big Sky. Those are like my go-to, our Blue Sky. And, uh, nice. Yeah. I used to love this uh, Digitech RP100 or 150, I think it was. And you can actually program the distortion you want and make it, you know, as crispy as you want. And then I think you could program like the first like that. 20 banks or something like that. And then another 20 were like already pre-programmed that you can, you know, mess around with and tweak to your own. <laughs> it was interesting playing with all those little toys. I had one of those, man. I'm, I'm Google imaging it right now. I totally yeah. had that. I, I, those were the best. That I, I didn't like, if, rather than having you know, four or five different effects, I would just program, okay, this song uses a chorus, a distortion, and then I need something like, like, I don't know, some weird like delay or something. And I would program it in a way that I can switch, you know, between mm -hmm. those back and forth between those three without having, and then the next, let's just say that I had it on, on, you know, bank one, two, and three, and the next song required three different ones. So I'd program those three for that song and, yeah. and back and forth. It was a pretty awesome little, little gadget. Those things were ahead of their time too. Like, <laughs> Cause like everybody, I feel like kind of laughed at those yeah. for a long time. Cause it's like, why would you do that when you can own a pedal board and stuff? And then now everyone's like, can we just use amp sims and like <laughs> have like a helix and not own pedals or anything? Yeah. Like, no. No. You might as well just be a DJ now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just press play. We've got some tracks lined up. We're going to do some karaoke for you. Yeah. For real. It's just like a little playback. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um, so I have a question that I think would help a lot of aspiring songwriters or new, newer musicians. Uh, what advice do, would you have for someone who is thinking about writing a song? Just uh, be real with yourself. At the end of the day, um, for writing a song, I would say, they, they say, um, which, sorry, there's people walking by that I've never seen. Um, at the end of the day, they say, uh, if you write a song for one, you'll reach many, but if you write a song for many, you'll only ever reach one. Mm -hmm. So just be, just be real to yourself. Um, yeah, that, that's my, that's it? my fortune cookie <laughs> advice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And if, if, uh, so I have a, a weird, sort of a weird question for you. Hey, you ready? All right. I love weird. <laughs> if you could go back in time and tell young Colington, 
uh, Collington, sorry, uh, some words of encouragement without any spoilers for the future? Like, what would you say? Mm. Without any spoils for the future, I would say um, it's about the journey, not the destination. And I, growth is long term, not a sprouting that happens quickly. Oh, yeah, nice. That's what I would. That's what I would tell me. Yeah. You think you think you'd listen? Uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I'd understand it. Like, what are you talking about, man? You're weird. Go away. Get out of here. <laughs> Old James is weird. Yeah, I like yeah. the younger one. I'm having, <laughs> like, I'm having a bad day, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Write leave some songs. <laughs> yeah, let, let me, leave me to my songs. All right. I, I want to just leave with, with one, last, uh, one last question. All right, let's do it, man. All right. So what is the next big thing for you? Where, where do you hope to take your music next? Oh, geez. Um, I, at this time of speaking, there's been some really cool opportunities that have come uh, with the award or potential opportunities, um, which I can't speak about just yet. <laughs> oh, come on. But in the meantime, uh, I'm just excited to keep doing what I've always done. You know what I mean? And just keep trying to push the bar higher, uh, you know? And part of that's me talking with you today. Like, I'm so honored that you take the time for me today. And okay, yeah, man, and it's, I've, maybe, maybe we'll do live music again soon. But in the meantime, I'm still writing music and I look forward to putting it out and sharing it with people. And um, it's always great when someone lends an ear to it as well. So, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. And if we wanted to listen to more of your music, what would be the best where, where what would be the best way we can do that? Yeah, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, just Collington Music. Collington Music, okay? Yeah. Um and then you have a website, right? What what is your what's your website? Yeah, collingtonmusic.com. I always forget that I have a website too. Yeah. I saw I saw that on your website. You have some some gigs lined up. Is that? Yeah, so we're doing Soul Fest this year, which is, um, but you're not supposed to have favorites. But it's one it's one of my favorite <laughs> festivals to do. Um, yeah, that'll be August, and it's it's just always the most stacked lineup ever. And um, some of the people that run it are just fabulous to deal with. They're really kind and. Uh, it's just like a big party. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, cool. So if anybody wants to check that out, you can go to, is it collingtonmusic.com? Collingtonmusic.com. You can't miss it. Everything's yeah. Collington Music. Excellent. So you can, easy to find, uh, go yeah. check them out. Uh, you also have some merch on there too. If anybody wants to pick up some shirts, right? That's it. I got the swag <laughs> shop. I'll give you, I'll put up a discount code for you too. What oh, do you nice. want the discount code to be, uh, Leonardo? Uh, spread love. Spread love. We can make that. Yeah. I'll make that right. I'll make that right now. Awesome. So, Familia, just for you all, we're going to have a, a, a code that you can use at the swag shop and get a little discount on collingtonmusic.com. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Thanks a lot for your time. Uh, I wish you the best in future projects. And we're going to definitely cover some more of your music because uh, it's like tacos to my ear. Oops. They're like yeah. tacos to my ears, you know, so. <laughs> Dude, I know, man. That's the thing about living out West here is the tacos. They, <laughs> they all go down nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. So I, I appreciate that you stopped by and joined us on the live chat that day, man. It was a real treat for everybody. Everybody really enjoyed that. Oh, dude, I love being there. I was hanging out with friends. I was like, basically, I was like, you guys need to wait. I got to do this. <laughs> Nowhere else I would have rather been. Awesome, man. Thank you. And then uh, Katie Donovan uh, just really was the one that, that suggested your music. She just loves your music. She loves all your projects. We love Katie at Collington. She's the best. There would be no Collington without Katie. She's really? the, yeah, if we had like five of her, the world would explode from excitement. So <laughs> it's probably good that there's only one of her. She's so cool. She really is. Man. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon, man. Awesome, man. Thanks again, right. Leonardo. Take care, man. All right, cheers. <laughs> Isn't he hilarious? I enjoyed my conversation with you, Collington. Thank you so much for coming on. Familia, thanks for watching. I'd like to bring your attention to the screen right now because what you're seeing is a flash of different quotes of the day. And if you're going through something today, Familia, I want you to think about that thing that you're going through and ask the spirit for an answer for you. And at some point, click pause. And that will be the answer that you get. If you got the answer you were looking for, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on our next adventure. Peace. May the eternal love and the profound peace of the Great Spirit be with you always. Remember to love your neighbor as yourself and to continue your adventures here on this channel. Click on any of the links on the screen. And as always, continue to spread love, continue to spread peace and continue to share this music. And I'll see you on our next adventure. Journey well, travelers. Thanks. <laughs>